Okay, here are some techniques to use a Sharpie to create value. The first one is hatching, and that is creating a lot of lines that all go in the same direction. So where you want it to be darker, you're gonna create a lot of lines. And then as you move towards the lighter area, you're gonna have less lines, right? So we're going from dark to light. Here we have cross hatching, right? And this is creating, um, let's say we have our cube here. God, that was horrible, okay. So um, let's say this is our darkest side, so I'm gonna create lots of lines going in one direction. This is maybe my darkest value. And then I'm gonna create lines going in the opposite direction, like a crisscross kind of situation. And for this one, maybe it's not as quite as dark, so that one is like that. And then maybe this one is a little bit lighter. So depending on how close your lines are together, depends how dark or light it will be. Right. So the next one is stippling, which um, I love and lots of people hate, and that's okay. Stippling is dots. So this is a great way to like kind of turn off your brain and um, relax and chill and just focus on creating a bunch of dots. The closer they are together, the what? The darker it will be. And the further away they are from one another, the lighter it will be. So, these dots are kind of random and it's a great way for us to add texture, right? Here's kind of whew, up close to the back. Um, so, oops. Here I have my drawing of my, um, of my sketch that I did in my sketchbook. Here I have my final drawing. Notice how I don't have any value and I don't have that much detail. I'm just blocking out where these shapes are going to go. That is super, super important. It's also important that you have stuff going off the sides or underneath or behind your object. That's gonna make it look more interesting. So let's say I'm gonna start here and uh, I'm just, you are gonna just go right in with Sharpie. And guess what? If you make a mistake in Sharpie, you can't undo it. It's there forever. So I want you to really be taking your time and going slowly. And for this one, I'm gonna use stippling and have a lot of dots kind of in the middle and maybe less so towards the edges. And it really doesn't take quite as long as you think it does and maybe it'll be kind of relaxing for you. Um, so there is my first one, and then I'm just gonna keep going um, with whatever kind of textures that I'm doing here. I have this one that I'm gonna draw lines in, kind of like this. So trust me, it's gonna be much faster if you just kind of block out your shapes and then Try to learn to trust yourself in creating art in pen 
where you can't necessarily undo it. Meaning you just kind of have to go a little bit slower, but that's okay because you can get some really nice textures um, in your drawing. And these are gonna look amazing in pen once they are finished. 